Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing I'm doing. There's a news item making the rounds today that CBS is going to be making a new Star Trek series coming out in uh, 2017. Now, that's all good and fine. I've been waiting a long time for a new Star Trek TV series. I'm kind of a fan, not as big as some people I know, but I've thoroughly enjoyed most of the iterations of Star Trek. Um, but there's a problem with this plan that CBS has. See, what the article that's going around says they're going to do is it says that they're going to premiere it on their regular CBS network, regular TV, but only the first episode. After that, if you want to watch it, you have to subscribe to their CBS All Access uh, service which is like Netflix, except nowhere near as popular, uh, and uh, another six bucks a month if you want to watch it. So here's what I think they're expecting to happen. I think CBS is expecting to use this brand new Star Trek show to bring in a whole lot of of new subscribers to their service because they've made it pretty clear as they've uh, built up to the release of this service and since they've released this service that they have an idea that they can challenge other services like Netflix uh, and, and Hulu, which CBS was part of briefly when Hulu started. Uh, they pulled out of that. Uh, left the rest of the networks to try to figure out what to do with it, and they still haven't figured out exactly what to do with it. But CBS is trying to get more people to subscribe to their all-access uh, service. And they see Star Trek as a way to do that, because there's a huge, huge bunch of Star Trek fans out there. But here's where there's a problem. Most Star Trek fans are pretty tech-savvy. And most Star Trek fans already have Netflix subscriptions and Hulu subscriptions and Amazon Prime accounts and do a lot of stuff with iTunes. And they're really not going to subscribe to watch a new Star Trek show. And here's why. CBS is going to be broadcasting that same show in other countries, which means about 15 to 20 minutes after an episode ends, it's going to be online for free as a BitTorrent. This is already a problem for a lot of shows. Not a huge problem because there's not a tremendous number of people tech-savvy enough to torrent all their shows. But for a show like Star Trek, the percentage of the fan base that already torrents stuff is going to be pretty high. And if you're forcing them to pay extra to watch a show, especially after uh, how uneven Enterprise was, uh, they're going to go and get it elsewhere. And they're going to go and get it for free. So here's what's going to happen. CBS is going to premiere this new Star Trek show. It's going to do okay in that broadcast pilot episode because, hey, there hasn't been a new Star Trek show on TV in a long time. But then what's going to happen with every subsequent episode is that it's going to get illegally downloaded. There are not going to be lots of new subscribers coming in. There's not going to be revenue generated by it. And it will get cancelled. And then CBS will use that as an example for why they shouldn't bother even considering another Star Trek series for at least another decade. And that's true whether the show is good or bad. Because if it's bad, people aren't going to watch it anyway. And if it's bad, things could be even worse because then the handful of people that do get subscriptions just to watch it are going to cancel their subscriptions and CBS is going to have that drop in subscribers that's going to say to them even more loudly, 
no one wants to see a Star Trek show because they're not going to be making revenue on it. Now, I won't say whether or not the show's going to be good or not. It's got about a 50-50 chance. Uh, executive producer on it is uh, Robert Kurtzman, who's done a bunch of good stuff, but he's also done a bunch of not-so-good stuff. Uh, so it's about a 50-50 shot with him whether or not I would like something that he produces. And CBS's track record has been a little uneven, uh, or Paramount's track record with Star Trek has been a little uneven. So if it's good, that's great, and then that's bad, because it will get canceled and there won't be another one. Uh, and if it's bad, it'll get canceled and there won't be another one. Either way, people who are Star Trek fans are kind of going to lose this one because of the way CBS has this set up. Now, if they come to their senses and put it on the regular network like they should, then they will see viewership uh, steady, uh, especially if they track their uh, residual views through uh, DVR time shifting and on-demand viewing and everything like that. But this is not going to be something that is going to bring people flocking to their all-access service. Nothing is going to bring people flocking to their all-access service. Uh, I'm hoping their all-access service withers and dies relatively quickly because we already have a bunch of different competing services out there with Netflix and Hulu. And uh, to have every network get involved directly in these, especially regular networks. Okay, cable networks, I'm okay with. HBO, Showtime, Stars, let them put out their individual apps because and services because then I can have an a la carte cable package just like I've always wanted. But to have your regular networks do that, your ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, CW, to have them all put out their own subscription services for stuff they're broadcasting free over the air if you have an antenna, that's a little bit of a problem and it's not going to go well. But only time will tell. Tell me, do you have a subscription to uh, the CBS All Access service, or would you be interested in getting one just to watch one show like Star Trek? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know how you feel about streaming services in general, uh, and how, how do you watch TV? Because that's kind of something that's changing. We, we don't all sit down and just flip through channels anymore. Now we have all of those services. So let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about all this. Uh, if you've liked anything I had to say, uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. And if you're uh, not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified when I do more of these. Since we're out of the Halloween season, we're probably going to be talking a bit about TV and stuff, as well as a few other things. Uh, if you know anyone else who has an opinion on this stuff, share this with them so they can get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.